Hi, my name's Nigel Davis. Welcome to Cellmac Machinery's Knowledge Base. Today we're going to be teaching you how to program tooling into your ESA controls. This one is an 875. Um, we do 640s, there is other models. Um, but we will show you now how to load tooling and how to draw tooling. This particular model has directories. So if you're in editor, you can press on the tooling. You'll see that you have some directories with tooling. This one here is the tool that's in the working library. The rest are kept in directories. If we press on Technostamp and double tap, you can pick, let's say for instance, a 40 mil V, and then you press insert and say yes. Now when you look in your tooling library, you will see you also have the 40 mil V. This is the easiest way for, for tooling because there are thousands of tools there, different makes, and it's very simple to put in your library. If you wanted a top tool, you press on that again, goes to the top tool library, you can press on Eurostamp, you could pick a tool, let's say that's it, and you press insert and say yes. Now when you look in your tooling library, in the bottom you've had the, the new one there, in the other library for the top tools by pressing on the tool icon again, you've got the other tool. You can double tap. So that was the tool we, we drew over. If you wanted to call it something more than what it came up with, like a 2012, if you want to call it a different name, you can press save as and then give it whatever name you want and then stamp something on the tool and then you would press that, give it the name, whatever you want, you could go into ABC, FGH, whatever, press that, press OK and now when we look in the library, if we press it again, you've got the tool saved as that. So you would then go back to the other tool and press delete, yes, and it's now saved as a tool. If I go to the bottom tooling, I don't particularly want that, but again, I could say double tap, menu, save as, I could put ABC, 40 millimeter V, and I could say that it was 85 degree. You can call it what you want. You press enter, you press OK. When you press the tool in again, you've now got a 40 mil V, 85 degree. You would then go to the one that you opened up and delete it and say yes. So that's programming from directories of tooling that's in your machine if you do happen to have that in the particular model that you've got. Um, if you haven't got these directories, um, basically we take a memory stick that you can purchase from Cellmac Machinery which will probably have Eurostamp tooling on. You place it in the back of there, you close the window that opens, you press on tooling, if it's bottom tooling you're after, you now press the picture of what looks like a floppy disk and here are thousands of tools that you might want. If you know the model number of your tool, you just, out of a Eurostamp catalogue, put in the number, find the number and you've got the tool, we'll pick that tool and we'll press save. We'll then go back into the tooling list and yes, you just basically press save which is next to the delete. Other ways of programming, let me get rid of a, some of these tools. We'll remove the memory stick. So if you want to program a new tool, you go into the tool, press it once for bottom tools, press it twice for top. You will then see at the bottom you can have a new drawing or a new default. If you press new default, um, basically you fill in the column as you go along. You need to know the width, that tool would be 60 and 
so the width is 60 and the height could be as high as 120 okay so you now press on the top bit and if it's an 85 degree you put 85 it wants to know what the V size is let's say it's 12 it wants to know what the distance from the centre to the edge in let's say it's 10 wants to know the distance here let's say it's 20 it wants to know what the distance here is so let's say 20 again we put that at 20 this one again sorry this one 20 starting to look pretty symmetrical and it wants to know the radius it's probably around 1.2 on that edge and the load on a tool like that would be 100 tonnes a metre if you're not sure ask or look in a catalogue the internet's pretty good for bringing tooling up and giving you information about it but if you get stuck give us give us a ring at Telmac so that's how simple it was to draw a bottom tool um, using the default so we'll go back in there again that was using a new default if you want to do a new drawing you could press new drawing tell it it was 60 by 60 you could say well I want to put a 10 mil V in something so the distance so if you know it's 60 and that's 10 that means you got 50 mil left half of 50 is 25 to the edge of the tool you would then insert a V it can be a square V or it can be a normal V you tell it what angle you want could be 90 you tell it uh, the V size we said we were going to do 10 tell it the radius is going to be about 2 mil and the load on a tool like that would be 100 tonnes and again that should be 25 you press on the alpha you press down you press on the next one it's 60 you press on the next one you go left press on the next one and let's say we want to put a 10 mil square V in so we'll say 25 insert a square V we'll say that the height is 20 we'll say that the V or the square V is 10 and the radius is 2 and the load is 100 and again that's 25 we then go up 60 and then we press press should I say close drawing you would then if you wanted to save as a special or whatever you can call it whatever you want I'll call it Nigel because that's my name I press enter press OK when we now look in the tooling library we have Nigel here and he can be loaded up at any time <laughs> so that's memory stick from the directories that's using a standard default tool and modifying it and that and then the last one was a new drawing top tooling is more complicated and is a nightmare let's have a go <laughs> so we press on that you've got new type one which is that we'll press ok and come out of there you've got new type two which is that and you modify all these things to suit your tool <coughs> giving it its reference site and the reference site is always from this part here to this part here and always add 30 mil for the total light because the tang is always 30 mil on our tooling we'll say okay we'll come out of there we'll go back in by hitting it twice new type 3 strange looking tool but you fill in those details and you fill in those details and then you will press save as we'll come out of there we'll go in again new type 4 this is your radius tool and it's pretty easy what you do put your tooling on the front of the machine get it all measured up and everything and fill in the information that it asks by going down here it's asking for that red line you press OK you 
give it a figure, press OK, and it, it just keeps moving down until you've done it. Um, so we press on that one, put a figure in. These two figures are always the same anyway. That would always be 30 mil. Now, once you've bought your holder, you put your size of your holder in there, and then if it's gonna be a 40 mil radius, you would put 40 mil radius. And obviously the thing gets bigger. You can press back at any time. Um, which way is it? Or just press on the one you want. Yeah. Press enter. Press on the 40 again. We can change that to 25 if we wanted. And then again, you go menu, save as. And then you would have the tool in your library. Programming the top tool can be very painful, but we're going to try our best. You press this twice, and we press new drawing. You give it its overall height, its reference height, and its tang height as well, complete with tang. Start giving it figures. So we said that was 20. We said that was 30 degree. We said that distance across there is about 12 mil. We said that the uh, radius on the nose was two millimetre and the load on a tool like this will be about 70 tonnes. Could be 100 tonnes, could be 60. You'll have to check with your catalogue. We're now going to go up at, let's say, 50. We will go back and we'll change that to 38. And I've still got a bit of a gap there, so I'm going to go... ...40. Still a bit of a gap. Forty-two. Getting close. <laughs> um, I think we need to go back to there, shorten that to thirty, and I think we need to go forward to that and say forty-five. And it's so close that you could turn around now and say close drawing and save it. But it's definitely easier to phone us up and buy a memory stick off us. And it's definitely easier when you've got a, a programming system like this one where it has got loads of different directories, which if you look in there, we've got loads of tools, top and bottom. So it doesn't matter where you buy your tooling from, you'll probably find it in one of those. <coughs> and as long as you've got a catalogue with a model number, it's easy to pull it out of there.